Hey Remarkable Lifers, this is Craig. And this is KJ. And today we have a fun topic for you. The reason for this video is we get a lot of subscribers and people who we meet that, you know, travel to Ajijic or whatever, and the question always comes up. So I retire and I move to Ajijic and what do I do? So we're actually going to, we actually are going to do a week in the life of, and it's going to be like the week before kind of Craig's birthday. Teaser alert, Thursday is Craig's birthday. <laughs> I don't have birthdays anymore. Yeah. And so we get that question a lot from people, and I know that all you guys out there, you know, in YouTube land and stuff might be wondering the same kind of thing because what is there to do, you know, yeah. when you retire and everything? So we thought... We would just show you guys kind of like some of the stuff that's like a week in the life of KJ and Craig. So yeah. you can get the behind the scenes if you want, or you can, if you're asking yourself those questions, some of those answers will be here. Yeah. And what we always tell people is there's so much to do here that you're never going to not be busy if you want. Yeah. It's all up to you. So Craig and I stay pretty busy. Yeah. Now I have heard from some people that they're like, hey, how do I get involved in the community? There are some first steps. You have to get out. You have to do things. But once you do, you're going to quickly realize that you have to turn things down because you also have to live. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's quite a vibrant community here, and I, I'd like to just share what we do. Um, and on my birthday week, why not kind of reassess kind of what I do in a week? Maybe I'll come up with some aha moment in the process. <laughs> and there's so much. We have a notebook. We do. We, we also do. have stickers. We also use <laughs> real estate as we should. Anyway. <laughs> so we're going to start with uh, just some of our like recurring appointments, things that we do yeah. every day or every other day or something like that. And so you go ahead. So one of the things that we started doing is we really tried to kind of a pay off for ourselves first mentality, which is what we really need to do or want to do for ourselves. And then everything else comes next. So for me, that is a health journey of going to the gym. And I go to the gym three times a week at the minimum. Um, I have a trainer. I do all of those things. I am sore right now, okay? I'm just telling you. Uh, so I've made my decision. My gym, right up there. I'm going to go do what I can. Usually I feel better once I go. You know how it is. You don't want to go, you don't want to go, you don't want to go. Those are the days you should go. So I'm going to give it a shot and do something. That's it. <laughs> it takes time. Um, you know, there's an hour to an hour and a half of workout three times a week. have to get there, have to get back, have to organize that in the schedule. Um, and KJ has his things on top of that. Yeah, so I, too, am kind of beginning a, a health journey. Uh, I'm taking it slow because it's not something my body's used to. And I'm trying, trying to start this. And so, like, there is um, there's a stretch class that I'm doing mm -hmm. once, sometimes twice a week. It just depends. Um, and some other things. And actually, there is going to be a video coming up that's ta where we talk about our health journeys. Yes, and it's going to kind of go a little more in-depth and then talk about what that looks like here for yeah. everybody so you can kind of get a idea of what is here. So, so stay tuned for that. Yes. So something I'm doing, uh, which this is kind of a, uh, it's not like something permanent. It just kind of happens once a year. Um, we've talked to you guys about I'm going to be dancing as a zombie in the recreation of Thriller on uh, on the Malicon on October the 26th. For those of you who are local, I think it starts at 3 p.m. Yes. So not 100 percent sure on that. Check this. Check social media. Yeah. And follow our Facebook yeah. at yeah. Uh, Truly Remarkable Life, Craig and KJ, and we put all of our event scheduling and that type of stuff there for you so on our Facebook. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but that's also part of my health journey because I started doing this and realized this is a workout. These practices are workouts. So I'll probably I put some video. In probably here. when this is done. <laughs> Uh, once the event has happened, everything I'm probably going to look for something to fill that spot as well. Next thing, oh, this is a good one for you because that always irritates you. Oh, getting around town. <laughs> so we talked about, you know, we have all these things to do, and we're going to talk about having different kinds of meetings and things we do for the channel. In addition, things we do personally, but getting around town can be can take a little time. Uh, I picked the wrong street to go down. There's a gas truck. Come inside here. T 
detour yeah i'm gonna keep my eyes on the road but um yeah that's a common thing here the gas trucks that refill pro propane because propane is pretty much the primary gas there's no natural gas um in this area so you refill your propane once in a while it's fine it works but the trucks come and refill the tanks and the streets are narrow so you just wait <laughs> they're pretty quick uh, it is a small town and you can walk a lot of places if you choose to walk you have to allow time for that and we have the bus um, the buses are great yeah, absolutely they're every 15 to 20 minutes and uh, you know during the day and but guess what you gotta wait 15 20 minutes and then it stops all along the route so getting from appointment to appointment has to be scheduled and you have to allow that time in there which we learned the hard way but <laughs> so we have a car yeah. but we have one car right and we don't want two cars we don't want to live like that um, but our appointments we're getting we're so busy that sometimes it just is yeah. difficult to schedule car KJ right. does ceramics um, I have to go to the gym yeah. so I will have to get up with him and go drop him off for a stretch <laughs> class then go to he goes to ceramics while he's doing that I go to the uh, I go to the gym, maybe sometimes I hit Walmart after that or something like that, come back, pick him up, and then we can schedule things independently. Yeah, I mean, like I do ceramics. Uh, I'm, I'm part of the Mudlarks group at LCS, and I do ceramics open studio twice a week. It's Mondays and Fridays, and I'm there for four hours. So, so we'll show you some of that. Yeah. You guys will say so Craig asked me to get some shots of me here at my ceramic studio and what I'm doing. And luckily, there's nobody at my table right now. So, <laughs> so today, I am going to work on building a vase of some sort. There's kind of what I got going on, my little work area. And I, mean, I know what the vase is going to be for, but I can't say yet because it's going to be a present for someone. <laughs> Okay, it's been about an hour and a half, and I'm actually working on some vases. We'll see how these turn out. So, But then, KJ also does trivia. And, as you know, we recently had a Dia de Muertos trivia. Los Muertos trivia! <laughs> Um, it's a monthly event it on was, Facebook. It was Los Muertos trivia. Los Muertos. Los Muertos trivia. Part of it was in celebration of Dia de Muertos, and part, part of it Halloween. was in Halloween. So, and they're not the same holiday. They're Don't want to get it confused. And he he does a lot of work on that. Um, that's kind of a KJ thing. And so there's hours and hours and hours of prep and. Uh, meetings and things that go on behind the scenes. I gotta give a shout out to my partner in trivia, Michael. You're awesome. Yes. The, you and I, man, this has like really just become like a team effort, a partnership. You're awesome. This yeah. It would not be as successful as it is without you, my friend. They, they write all of the questions, do all the research, um, and make sure that there's a video element to it, a music element to it, things that, you know, it's not just asking a lot of questions or something. Mm -mm. So they, they really make it a lot of fun, and it takes a lot of work to do that. So there's hours for that. KJ basically schedules himself office hours. They have standing meetings, all of that. Um, I then uh, <laughs> participate in that I am the guinea pig, so I get to go through things. I help out with some questions once in a while. But I also am the day of. I'm there. So the day of, we, we have to get there. We have to set up. We have to do the event. I'm participating in that. Um, this time we had to go do our face painting beforehand because again we try to make it fun there's usually some sort of costume element KJ tries to fit in with that so check out our Facebook for the next event coming up um, and when it is and then look at the theme and just dress up like that theme yeah. everybody will love it but if there's an element to that for our contest we'll have it in there. Um, check out our last video if you haven't we do a full transition video you can see us get made over it's a lot of fun Let's talk about uh, this sun this past Sunday, and this happens every couple of weeks or so. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an LGBTQ group that meets at El Gato, Ca uh, El Gato Feo uh, Cafe. It's a coffee house, and everyone meets there for coffee and just kind of chat and everything. Yeah. And so we were actually, we went um, this past Sunday, but what was really cool is there was a subscriber 
Hey, super fan, super, super fan. fan. <laughs> Hola, Jorge. And he was visiting Guadalajara, but wanted to come down to Ajijic and meet us. And we thought it would be a really great opportunity to show him part of the community here in Ajijic. Yes. So we met up with him at this community Mika meetup. Mika. Mika. I like Mika. 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mika. Had a wonderful time getting to know him. Thank yeah. you for everything, literally. But and part of everything was our hats. That's right. He had these hats made specially for us with our name on it for truly remarkable life. And I fell oh, in we love, love with them. We oh love gosh, them. They're, they're so, yeah, they're really, really so great. So you hats. may see him again. Thank Jorge in the comments for those. He was such a nice guy. We got some other little fun gifts too, yeah. some chocolate and stuff like that. Very nice, very kind, and very generous. So thanks for taking the time to come and see yeah, us. It was great to meet you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank but you. But these hats. Everything. <laughs> Love them. Everything. <laughs> okay, so going back up. Yeah, so a lot of the things we do, too, are revolved around meetings that we are either involved with in town or for the channel. We're, we're really working hard to try to come up with some things that are in response to the things that you tell us that you're looking for. Th questions that you have, the... Things that you're trying to figure out when you're doing this move or visit. Services that yes. we're trying to build to help people out um, that have asked yeah. questions and stuff like that. Using so, our expertise too. Yeah. And hopefully be able to build something around that. And and we're in the process of, of kind of almost a breakthrough of announcing that to you guys. So stay tuned again in the future. But um, there's a lot of meetings that go on. So we're meeting with the people that are involved, the businesses that we're that we're working with. Yeah, the mortgage thing. So I mean, like, I yes. actually, yeah. So you guys know um, that we're doing mortgages in Mexico now for U.S. citizens. And I actually have, we've actually had a few clients. And yeah. that's another thing that takes yeah. up time. So we so, meet for the, to talk. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Scheduling those, those client uh, uh, conversations, whether it be phone or in person, um, dealing with, you know, all the back end stuff and that. And, and we're great, glad to do it. Yeah. But it is another scheduling thing. And we have like consultations. Yeah. So we're doing video and phone consultations with people now that yeah. are wanting to we, know more about Ahihik and how to and how to get here. And so we schedule those. And we had one the other day that was literally because it was international um, in Asia. But yeah, it's a it's a it's a scheduling thing. And so all of these things just start putting in your head all these things we're talking about. I have these time slots. <laughs> yeah, and if you're interested in, in a video or phone consultation with us, check out our website at yeah. www.trulyremarkablelife.com. Um, under the services tab, all that stuff that we do is listed there. <laughs> yeah, we do. We generally, we love to help. I mean, we are trying to build something here for our own uh, support and that kind of thing, but it, this is really about what you guys are looking for. Yeah. And the time that we do the consultations is your time to ask the questions. It's not about us. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, the other thing is, is I work with um, I he Cares, which is a organization that does sexual health and education, HIV, AIDS, prevention, awareness, um, and that is something that we've been working really hard on, and we're entering festival season, so there's lots of events going on. Um, I've actually been, I think I've met, what, three or four times this last week, mm -hmm. helped paint our new offices, stay tuned. Um, yeah, I mean, everything is stay tuned, stay tuned. Hands <laughs> in everything. Um, well, we had a really nice meeting yeah. with him at a, uh, it's not a new restaurant. I think it's new to Ahi Heat, maybe by no, a few it's months. it's been here since we've been here. No. <laughs> it's, it's, it really, oh it's been here since we've been here. See, there's so much There's so much here that you don't even realize sometimes that things yeah, are here. We, we, we've we just never been there. It was Membrio, which is actually, they have multiple locations they have great Wi-Fi, and we were able to use their, you know, their space to have our Ahi he Cares meeting. Yeah, so that was a lot um, of fun. But that, you know, we <laughs> double duty, grab some lunch, get that done. Let the lunch meeting begin. That was delicious. It was. It was very delicious. I uh, am thinking I will definitely be back here again. Yeah. In fact, I may sneak away from the house when you're not watching that dessert. Yeah. You saw some of the desserts, didn't you? And that's all one delivered over there. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Mitsu working. Um, then we also, I, I just want to remember, we have life. We haven't talked about our life yet, okay? <laughs> We've got to get groceries. We've got to, you know, deal with things around the house, go to doctors, whatever we need to do. Doctors, so, dentists, termites. Yeah. Oh, termites. you got to take care of well, the termites. Termites. <laughs> we had termites. Termites showed up in a drawer just randomly. 
Um, the house in the middle of the wood. house. The house isn't even wood. The house is built of concrete. Yeah. And just in the middle of the house, these termites ate our drawer. We'll show you all that. Appointments. Inspections and treatments. and Yeah, you yep. got to do with all that. <laughs> and then we also, this last week, went to the doctor for checkups, went to the dentist for our cleanings. Everything's fine. Teeth nice and clean. One down, waiting for KJ. So the dentist appointment was fantastic. I have no problems. My cleaning was great. She did some x-rays of the dental work I uh, had done a year ago, and everything is wonderful. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, and we had a weekend visitor, and then all, also preparing because we will have visitors from the States next week. So... Yeah, we have a guest this weekend, and then literally all the, for the week of Dia de Muertos, we have some friends coming in from out of town. Oh my God, we are so excited! We are. Maybe you'll get to see them in our one of our future videos. Oh, you, you'll definitely see them in our yeah. future videos, yeah, but that's a, that's a blast. But we, you know, because we know we have a lot of stuff coming up, we're also trying to get ahead on things. Yeah. yeah. Now, I just want to throw one more thing in. It takes time to do these videos. So <laughs> the time that we're sitting down and recording here, there's always more than what you're actually watching. We edit it so that it's effective and, and, and interesting for you. But then we have the editing and the, the public, publication and, and all of those things that go into it. So a lot of times I'm up here working at 11, 12 o'clock at night. Um, so that stuff happens as well. And, oh, oh, we would like to have a social life sometime too. So sometimes these things you know, double, but we like to go to dinner with friends once in a while, or just dinner by ourselves and have a date night, <laughs> watch a movie, something like that. I know that you guys don't always do the same things that we do. We have our business kind of things going on, but trust me, you're going to have, uh, I don't care if you're into bridge, there's bridge groups here, there's language learning, pickleball, there's pickleball. There are swimming, there's all kinds of different aerobic, dancing, dance classes, spa, yeah. art classes, oh my painting, gosh, yes. um, whatever you're interested in, I guarantee you, you can find something like that here. And if you don't, you might decide to start a group, which yeah. then is time. So you're going to have plenty to do when you come here. In fact, I think you might have too much and <laughs> wish you had done it sooner so that you could get everything in. <laughs> yeah, it's, it does. It kind of becomes like a, uh, what do they call that, a multitude of blessings? Uh, yeah, or, it's an, an, embarrassment, of, an embarrassment of blessings. An embarrassment of riches. riches. That's it. An embarrassment of riches. There we go. Yes, it's an embarrassment of riches when it comes to activities, people, things to do. I've told people before, you stop at, you stop at one place and tell somebody you're new. Six minutes later, you're going to have... 20 things to do. Yeah. And you're going to be invited. You're going to be included. Um, it's just part of the culture here. Yeah. But remember, you are retired. And, or, I mean, here's the thing. You don't have to be retired to move here. There's a, lot no. people, there's a lot of people who move to the Lake Chapala area who have kids, and their kids are in school, and they're yeah. still working. They work remote, or they're doing something like we're doing. They're trying to start up a second career and that sort of stuff. Yeah. You can. It can be anything you want it to be. You can also just... Grab your drink and sit by the pool and relax and read books. Yeah, it can it can be anything you want it we, to be. We've recently heard of a couple people. They're like, yeah, they've you know somebody's lived here for fifteen years and they just they don't really get out. They enjoy just having solitude and just being behind their their gate and in their house and watching you know the view and sitting by the pool. And yeah, good for them. That's what this place is about. What yeah. does it need? What do you need? What do you want? Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. So we're going to get ready to schedule Craig's birthday, um, which is going to be, yeah, I know, that's me, um, which is, KJ has offered me up, you know, dinner, getting a massage, massage, going and doing something, and I'm like, maybe I just want to do nothing, and I think you see why now. <laughs> well, let me break in. <laughs> Let me break in on that. Oh, I don't know that I want to do the massage on my body. I'm going to take the massage. I'm going to do. I'll do it eventually, and then we'll call it my birthday. I may not do it on my birthday, but I'm not giving up the massage. No, you know, no. And, and dinner. Well, we'll definitely do dinner, and maybe we'll call it my birthday. But maybe it doesn't have to be on my birthday. <laughs> do, you see, do you see the conditional love I deal with? It feels like it feels like that little handwritten coupon book you gave your mom and dad at Christmas when you were a kid. He's like, yeah, I'm going to take those and I'll just redeem them at a later time. <laughs> Isn't that what it's about? I'm sorry. I think I'm in the right here. What do you think? Do you think I should be able to redeem my birthday presents whenever the heck I want? 
Put it down below. <laughs> anyway, all right. I think we're good. Um, I think you got a good idea of what we do here and what you can do here. Um, and you know, we just wanted to share what it's what it's like. Yeah. So. So, with all that being said, if you haven't already, if you got time, <laughs> go find, find your, your truly, truly remarkable, remarkable life. life. We'll Thanks. catch you later. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.